So guys, there is so much to wrap around the entire Model 3 performance announcement and so much more as we get closer to our very first deliveries. As we have seen, there are some really exciting components to this car and for the very first time, there is going to be some physical differences to a specific trim. Now, with that being said, just around the same time that this car was introduced to the media groups, some documentations were leaked to the public indicating some of the details and some of the things that we may not be expecting. A Reddit user within the Tesla Model 3 community forum somehow managed to get their hands on the Model 3 performance specs and engineering details. This was posted and left on there for approximately one entire week before it was completely taken down, but it did contain all the little details that we wanted to know. Now luckily for us, we did manage to get a capture of everything just before it was taken down and everything in here is quite surprising. But to summarize all the biggest points, this car is going to be one of the biggest upgrades we've ever seen in any of the models. So of course, this Performance Model 3 gets all the goodies from the Highland redesign. This means premium audio, the accent lighting, and cooled seats. Then we get all the performance exclusive items such as the bespoke design, the newer wheels, the performance, and the new active suspension. Now this documentation here went as far as indicating all the things that the Model Model 3 performance will not have during this redesign. Most of these things we already know and expect it by now, but one of them being the HEPA filter, this has been confirmed on the documents to not be coming with the Model 3 performance. Next on the list being one of the things we will not get is the home link integration. This is pretty much standard across all models right now. You do have to put in extra money to get this integrated in your car. And the final thing here, which seems a little bit odd to have a section in the first place, this is the missing radar unit. Now this is a module that is specific to the Model S and X currently as they are doing some further data training but it could be that Tesla is using the exact same template across all of their models. This is why there is this section within this Model 3 performance. So now there is another key area within this documentation that pertains to the performance of this car, the batteries and the motor. According to the code category description, they will be using the 2170 cells from Panasonic within the US variant of this car. I just recently did a whole rundown of the LG versus Panasonic Sonic for the Model 3 performance that are being sold right now. If you don't know exactly which one you have and the differences between them, definitely go check out my previous video. I'll drop it in the description below, but you don't want to miss that one out. There are some critical components that may change your mind on whether you want to buy it right now or not. All right, so now here is the most interesting thing that we've learned so far. When the car was finally announced, it was given the official number of 510 horsepower. This is short of the 600 plus horsepower that we were all expecting all along. But according to the leaked engineering document found on the Reddit forum, this car here is going to be coming with the 950 amp 4D2 drive unit and this drive unit here is capable of pushing upwards of 412 horsepower just on the rear alone. Now pairing that with the 215 horsepower of the front motors coming from the long range model combined this is going to be 625 horsepowers together. Now the theory we've been running through all this week is that Tesla decided to limit the output because of the different battery technology LG versus Panasonic and they will be the bottleneck as to why we're getting less performance. Now that case may be true, but this means that neither of the batteries that are provided that are built for this Model 3 performance is capable of giving it what it needs for these motors to run at 600 horsepower and above. So what that ultimately means for us is that until Tesla develops or partners with a company that can provide that much amount of power coming out of those batteries, we will never see the full and true potential of what these motors are capable of. Well, that is until what we've just found out so far. Just ahead of schedule, there are Model 3 performances registered ahead of time in advance in anticipation for the delivery. Now, unlike the US and Canada, there seems to be heavy road taxes that are applied to vehicles such as the Model 3 performances around the world. These road taxes are not based off of the type of cars, either EV, internal combustion, or hybrids. They are purely based out of the power that the car is able to push out. Now just earlier 
this week, a user on Twitter had reached out to me about his recent purchase and registration for the Model 3 Performance. He provided me all the documentation, fees, and breakdown of everything that is required to register this car. And according to the Land Transport Authority in Singapore, this car will be categorized and taxed as a car with 460 kilowatt. Now being in Singapore and surrounding countries, they do use kilowatt to measure power. So after converting it for the North American side, we do have just upwards of 600 horsepower. So this pretty much confirms what the engineering documents had shown us. Now you may be thinking that this is all incorrect because what Tesla has stated and what we have seen so far is completely different and way far out than what the number that is shown here. But here's the thing, when any foreign company wants to deal with the government and wants to sell a product within their country, they want to ensure that they provide all the straightforward black and white documentation when they provide it up to the transport authority. So the fact that Singapore and various other countries are taxing it based off of 400 60 kilowatt they are not just taking this number out of anywhere they have been provided this number directly from Tesla all right so what does this all mean first off it means that Singaporeans are being severely ripped off for simply wanting to own a car just shy of 5,000 US dollar per year as a road tax on top of insurance and fees this is just ludicrous to say the least but really, it may just be totally worth it because Singapore is such an amazing place to be and owning a car really is just a luxury. But now, getting back to the car here, there only seems to be two possibilities to all this. One being that the car is truly limited due to the batteries and more so if you live in different regions. And then the other one being that Tesla is holding back and eventually releasing the ludicrous mode plus unlock. This means that we will be able to get the full potential of 600 horsepower whenever that time comes. So yeah, whatever you take of this is exactly what it is. Either you believe that the car can be fully unlocked in the future or it really is just limited to what it is right now. I think the Model 3 Performance is really an amazing car at 510 horsepower or at even 460 for different battery type. This is just a mind blowing car and should practically annihilate every other car in its segment. We're all really excited to see the first deliveries happen to real owners and hopefully they are one of you guys. If you do get your cars earlier or in advance, make sure you share it with us. Hit me up on Twitter at HeyJohnE. Give us all the lowdowns on everything that is with this car. I love interacting with you guys and this is exactly what this channel is for. So whatever you discuss with me, I hope you guys allow me to share it on this channel. But anyways, I will be keeping you as updated as possible on everything that comes up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And I do also have a Patreon link if you want to support the channel. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.